It's official. Scrap, I tell you. I am DJ Melby Easy. Yup. And I did Scrap 21st birthday party at Club Frequency with BMF. It was crazy. It's crazy. It was crazy. So Scrap, what was they that didn't like, want to throw me a charge just because of it. It was <laughs> crazy, <laughs> bitch. What was it like when, you know, you first heard No Problems and feeling like on the radio, like, you know, how, how was that for you? Like, was it, it was, it was an amazing, it was an amazing feeling. But at, at the same time, I knew it was, you know, I knew it was going to happen around that time. But just hearing it and looking back, saying, dang, I wish I could get myself played on the radio. I called, hey man, listen, I called the radio station one time, right? I called the radio station one time and they answered me. And I played my song just for, so it could be played on the radio while they played. What's up, boy? You feel me? Just to get that jump played on the radio and then now all my songs are on the radio. It was, it was great. You're a different kind of person. Yeah. Taking no pictures. She was like, oh, oh, nah, I just, I was trying to figure out what that scrap was. She was like, yeah, but he good. I was like, I told my daughter, I said, look, you can't do that. You Young Troy, look at him. Hey! You know what we do. Hey, look at the baby. You got a few. You good, Hey, I'm good. Hey, I'm good. Hey, how you doing? What's up, you know man? Yeah, 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 right quick. How you been, man? Nigga, good to see you, soldier. Damn right. You all in the night with us? Oh, Lord. They going like that with it. Oh, Lord. Oh yeah, man. Yeah, he mo definitely motivation, man. I gotta teach him how to be a man. That's what I gotta be. Not the world, man. I gotta be. Yeah, look, aggressive, though. You know what I'm saying? I think I six. Oh, okay. Two to six. That's that aggression that was in me when he was conceived. Feel me? Whatever that means. Hey, you say, I can't do it. I don't know what it is, man. 
Yeah, I was in the basement. For me, what it did, it got me through my days and my nights and borders. I was never bored. I'm talking about you wake up in the middle of the night and you made a mistake and went to shit with the TV on. You had something very special on the basement of the Oh, no, I tell you, make sure they bust a freestyle real quick. I wasn't even on the freestyle situation, but he made me freestyle. I'm like, 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 no, you know I got sick as well, right? I, I got no more blood transfusions to come to me from white people. So we got to get some black people to donate blood. So you know, that's, I appreciate this because Tigger's one of, the, one of the few that I've seen actually get it put together and get out there and support a good cause. Shout out to no artists. Yes, no artists. Y'all make sure y'all go give blood and understand how sickle set affects our black people. Back. Appreciate it. Always. I don't get no bigger than this without working the committee record label. Yeah, you know I mean, shout out to Mr. Harris, you know what I mean? He handled all of the design and sent to the want. It don't get no bigger than this, man. He called us, told us, look, man, we're going to go for it. Stay on brothers, man. I love these niggas, man. So you know we had to go. So that's what we had to do. He sent to one of the best scrap about the story in Atlanta. He sent. We no, gonna bring me. out. Yeah. I ain't gonna tell y'all the songs. Y'all have to see it. Trust me, bananas are crazy. Like, you don't touch your mouth. Should keep oh, going yeah, nowhere. Y'all yeah, locked yeah, in. And I already, I already I'm already admitting. I'm the black guy. For about two years, <laughs> back in 2003 and four. That's not right. Yeah. The motherfucker walking around impersonating me in Atlanta. I know he got a bitch pregnant. How would I know? The bitch pregnant. No, I'm dead serious. That's the look. That's my wife. Oh. I'm, I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking. <laughs> no, look, look. No, no, this motherfucker, look, a bitch, excuse me, a lady, it's 2019, you can't call bitches bitches no more. <laughs> Sorry, bitches. Uh, uh, no, no, it's 2019, a person. A person, yeah, it's 2019, you never know anymore. Listen. So this bitch hits me on Instagram, or was it Twitter? She hit me on Twitter, she was like, you need to come and see your baby. Your baby's two years old. I said, bitch, I ain't been to Atlanta in five years. How I got a two-year-old baby? The math ain't even working out. The math don't add up. It's like, I don't get it. So, like, then I guess I started getting text messages from my homies that live down here because I lived here for, like, a year. Dude. Yeah, like, back in, like, 2013, I lived here for, like, a year. I had some homies, like, hey, bro, there's a dude in the strip club throwing 10 grand. But he's, like, six foot two. Yes, he was tall. I'm like, man, ain't no fucking little white man. And he ain't, look, he ain't oh, right. covered in tattoos and shit. He was. But none of them matched. Like, oh, if he would have got the tattoos to match, he had a grill. I've never had a grill. It was just, it was just like, I had, to, I had to break it out of my wife. Like, baby. He lying. I don't have no kids in Atlanta. I promise. <laughs> I got kids in Memphis, but this is my the real little white is in the building. Goddamn Memphis is in the building. building. Memphis to the ACL. Memphis. We've been on our feet all day right through the one music festival. Come to the media booth. Yeah, I mean, this is where it go down. This is where the ghost rush down. This is what the artists don't see. This is where everybody downplays, undervalues, and underestimates all this shit we do. Right? They just think it's the rapper show. And it is. But I'm telling you, man, this shit like Voltron, man. You know what I mean? You gotta have, you know what I mean, an engine. You gotta have some wheels. You gotta have a frame on the car. So, how do you, like, work your relationship? with the radio stations. Well, really, you got to get in here, man, and, and get to knowing the personality on there. Miss I think I've developed a relationship with her over the course of maybe 15 years. So, uh, it, 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 we don't into the same room. So, really, man, just extending your olive branch first. Keeping your olive branch out. Make sure you got them, um, you know, stay dedicated, stay consistent, stay respectful, you know what I mean? And make sure you prepare. Now, you can't be up on nobody, you know what I mean, want them to help you and your shit ain't together. You can give a nigga CD still. It's 2020, nigga. We, we're at a whole new decade. Get with the technology, man. This shit ain't got this small. Don't nobody want no goddamn CD. Really, you can airdrop the Bluetooth, so get with it, man. You know what I mean? Technology, personal lifestyle. Let's go. Is this big boy from Outcast Business? Yep. Wow.
Entrepreneurship. Big boy got all of them. We got all of them. All of them. Shout out to Big Boy. He always showed me love. I threw my um, 32nd birthday party at Stank Out with a listening section. So shout out to Big Boy and shout out to Celebrity Trainers. They're going to keep Baby Breeland and Scrappy and Bambi and my talent extra cool and cozy tomorrow at the Music Club. And today, right? We work it. BC Beats, you already know the fuck going on. This shit popping like strap out here. Stay fresh out here. We stand well. One third of chair for the beats. I mean, one third chair for the, excuse me. A lot of this oh, in we, my system. We just owned it tonight. Got down. Shot the beats. Shot the street. Shot the grid street, man. Yeah. Did my day one, buddy, man. Y'all already know what time it is. Mr. Rifkin. How you doing, Mr. Rifkin? No, leave us alone. <laughs> Bit about what's about to happen. It's about to be a motherfucking movie, man. Trying to set a sense. I got my nigga scrapping. I'm talking about fucking bugging my head. You know what I mean? Bugging my head. Motherfucking thing. That's what niggas do, man. You know what I mean? You feel me? Let's do it. Second anniversary, bam! I love y'all, my niggas. Like I said, man, this is the rhythm of the streets.